Hey guys, we're here with Alice, co-founder of Tajidao. How are you today? I'm very good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining. Can you tell me a little bit more about your DAO? Yes. So we just officially launched um, our, all of our social media and make our public appearance in April in Eve Taipei. But we already hosted um, one all-women-only dinner. And it's only until then you realize there are actually a big amount of women working in uh, Web3 already. Including us. <laughs> Including us, definitely. Um, so yeah, Tajidao means she knows in Mandarin. Oh, I love that. Yes, yes. So we kind of play the Dao a little bit, but um, because we want to really focus on the education side. Um, from Web2 to Web3 adoption, we feel like people really need awareness. And we also really would like to create a safe space for women so that they feel like they can learn from. The top um, women engineers, developers, and also the lawyers that are doing compliance and doing the regulators. So, so it's perfect, um, I think, for women to step up and also me myself as a um, venture partner in a venture capital called Assembly Partners. Um, I also spoke with other women-led VCs. I think it's very important to have a woman's viewpoint, um, even when it comes to investments. Because Definitely. Men and, and women, we, we speak, we think differently. So I yes. think it's super important to always get like as many viewpoints and perspectives as possible to come up with solutions. But I want to know a little bit more about your DAO and maybe where, where are most of your members from? Yes. And what kinds of events or what kinds of activities do, do you focus on? Yes, so most of our DAO members, they are from Asia, from Taipei. That's uh, also where I'm from. Yeah, um, in, but still we have a lot of members that are from UAE, from Dubai, and also from US as well. Um, you know, we are mostly uh, digital nomads, or our members. But nowadays, most people are. <laughs> yes. So for even for our upcoming next event, we will host it in Palau um, for their first ever Palau Blockchain Summit in um, August. And it's so fortunate that we get to invite uh, Vitalik in person with us physically and also the president of um, uh, Palau, he will be joining us too. And then I believe that Tang Feng, he's one of the tech uh, governmental people in Taiwan, he'll be participating too. So we were super happy to be one of the lead organizers for that. When is that? That's it's going to be at the end of August. And since uh, Taipei and Palau, um, Taiwan and Palau, we share such a strong connection. So the first side events will be held in Taipei first. And then um, since a lot of the stops from uh, the flights from US, they will make a stop in Taiwan. We want them to, to enjoy Taiwan a little bit, Taipei. And then they will have their um, events in Palau. That's yes. interesting. I've, I don't know that region, so <laughs> maybe I'll go check it out and go for the conference. <laughs> and um, tell me also a little bit more about, I know you're going to speak soon, so maybe you could give us just a little preview of what you were going to say on stage. Yes. So I'll be talking about the um, difference between a traditional VC and crypto VC, since me personally, I've been in both. Um, I think a lot of it, it's uh, the difference between the percentage of equity and also uh, the token, the tokenization part, but also as in the mindset, how, how um, we can learn from each other. I feel like from um, the Web2 VC, the traditional side, people are more of a careful and Jomo joy of missing out okay. <laughs> yes yes okay. well web3 uh, vcs we are very driven very fomo by that so yeah okay, okay. so that's the main difference i guess yeah because there's always so many events and so much yeah. going on you think uh, if you don't go to one thing you're gonna i don't know it's gonna mess up your life or something yeah, like that there's always one meme coin that just came out of nowhere Pepe, i bought a lot Pepe, you did <laughs> i did <Awesome. laughs> And then I shorted. So you, you made a profit then? Oh, look at you. You got to tell me next time. Give me the tip next time. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. And so what about this event, though? Why did you decide to come out to Crypto 306? 
Yes, because um, one of our portfolio companies, they are actively seeking to set up their um, second branch office here in Dubai. They already have their um, first office in Shanghuan in Hong Kong. And I actually, um, after flying to different cities, I believe that Dubai and Hong Kong and Singapore, they will be like the three, three probably main um, crypto active and crypto friendly low tech uh, cities to um, live in and to, to do crypto business. Um, comparing to US that has been hit by, you know, the banks fallout. And the regulation landscape is not great. Yeah, it's just not as alive. We still respect them, but we can see that trend coming. So, yeah. Yeah, you're not the first to, to say that. I've heard that uh, recently a lot, that Dubai and, and Hong Kong especially, there's a lot of activity going on here. So I think we're in the right places. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and um, tell me also a little bit more about um, your work at, in VC and maybe where you're seeing, um, I know at probably not too much capital going around. So what type of activity, activity are you seeing and what kinds of trends can we see in that space? Yeah, um, I would say that our fund, because we are a Web3 native fund, and we actually we rely a lot on the research and uh, on the tech side, and also a very close uh, due diligence on all the sides of uh, the team and how they grow. So we are actually not affected by the economics that far, by the emotion of an economics. And that I also think that makes us pretty much uh, very different from other funds, because I think a lot of the great investments could be made in bear market because there are very few standing and they will make a more um, affordable offer, more reasonable offer. So we are still active looking. Um, you can like stand out more, I guess, yeah. when there's less players maybe? Yes, definitely. And also other friend, uh, other VCs, they are also more friendly too. Um, so it's a great time to, to exchange info with other big players and also really recognize the startups that are really still striving. Mm -hmm. So um, my part, I have always loved to, uh, rather than um, providing the, the, you know, the, the, the dry powder part, um, I always like to really get involved in helping the founders. Um, because I actually, I think that's the most valuable part rather than just providing the cash or the right. money. Yeah, so I'm always seeking to um, more strategic partners between um, different verticals and see how they work, see how um, maybe some startups, they lack the development side and the other uh, uh, more coding um, oriented company, they are seeking opportunity to expand. So, so it's, it's actually, there's still a lot of opportunities. And That's good to hear, good to know. All right, well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much for having me.